Hey, Scott here from West New York Brews. Are you ready for another quick Tuesday review? We're gonna be pretty quick on this one. Here's my STC 1000 from Inkbird. All right, so this is my temperature controller for my fermentation chamber. So I wanted to give you a quick rundown of everything that this little thing is doing here. Ready? So here we are looking at the Inkbird STC 1000 up close. Now we are going to set it quickly to what we want to set it to. So I'm holding down the S to set it. Good. Temperature set. Go S. Setting it at 66. S. We can also do uh, Celsius or Fahrenheit. And we are Fahrenheit. Okay. So right now, keeping it, we want to keep it 66. It's 67.3. It's reading the ambient temperature in there. So uh, it's going to wildly fluctuate because I normally have a probe that goes directly into the center of my beer and I'll show you what that is. But this controller here is controlling this right here. This one is for cooling and this side is for heating. So when it needs to heat, you'll see a little light right here and it will turn this one on. And when it needs to cool, you'll see a little light right there and it will turn, uh, excuse me, this one on here, which goes over here to my surge protector, which is controlling the refrigerator. And the other one right there is a fan. So let's take a look inside to see how this thing is uh, controlling the temperatures. So here we are inside the fermentation chamber and you see a couple of things. One, this is a dorm fridge. Okay, so that is what's going to cool down the fermentation chamber if I need it. And connected to that, at the same time, is this fan to recirculate the air if this is cooling down. So it recirculates the air through the fermentation chamber. Now, this right here, this fan came from Walmart, highly recommended, here's why. It's safe, it's got a bunch of fail safes on there, it won't let itself get too hot. It's a force-fed heater, fan-fed heater right here. So it's blowing its own air. It's already recirculating. I don't need to have a separate fan working or I don't need to uh, run that fan at the same time. And it has its own thermostat here. Now, why would you have your own thermostat on top of this if you're using the Inkbird controller? Good question. So the Inkbird controller up here turns on or off the outlet based on the temperature. That's all it's doing. It does it really well. So if you're using something like a paint can heater, okay, right here, which uses a uh, light bulb to control the temperature, it's going to turn it on. It's going to turn it off. Um, I didn't like that idea. I wanted the air circulating, so I went and got that fan, that heater from Walmart for less than the price than it took me to build that paint can heater but it's going to turn it on for as long as that beer needs to raise temperature and if i'm using uh, 13 gallons of, of beer if i'm trying to raise 13 gallons up the temperature the ambient temperature inside this could raise up high enough to not only overshoot my temperature in the center of the ward here but to trip the automatic safety on that heater. So, by using the thermostat on the heater, this stays on the entire time, but the ambient temperature in here never gets up to a high enough temperature to turn off the automatic safety features on that heater. So, if you're gonna do this with a heater like that, I recommend getting one with its own thermostat and then making sure that you crank it down just a little bit from, uh, I have mine directly in the center. Make sure you're not all the way up. You don't want the internal temperature, the ambient temperature inside your fermentation chamber to raise up too high. It's not going to be good for your beer and you're going to trip the automatic safety features on your fan. All right, one more thing. I wanted to show you the probe that I'm using. This right here is the 12 inch stainless probe that you can buy from Inkbird to go into the back of this here. Now this will go directly into the beer and I will either use one of the orange caps that has the secret, second uh, inlets in it, or in here I put a second grommet in the top of the eBay 13 gallon um, pill bottle fermenter. 
Either way, I'm keeping track of the beer temperature. I'm not keeping track of the ambient temperature by putting that in there. I make sure that I spray it down with some sanitizer before I put it in there. And then when I pull it out, I make sure I wipe it down um, and I'll, I'll dunk it in my cleaner and I'll dunk it in the sanitizer. So I would suggest getting that probe, the probe that came with this I just threw out. And this right here, about $16 for that. And I put it into this weatherproof, um, I'll call it a project enclosure. What it is, you go to Lowe's or Home Depot, it's a weatherproof um, enclosure that you would put um, power into. Kind of similar to this, but, but you would actually cover it up completely uh, with this cover. This is just what I decided to put it into. It was something that I had around the house. Um, so I guess it comes down to review time. Would I buy an STC 1000 again? Yes and no. If you are handy with soldering and you don't mind putting something together, sure, go ahead and buy one. Make sure you're getting one that has Fahrenheit if you're like me and living in the United States. Uh, because we work in Fahrenheit for some reason and, and not Celsius. So make sure you get the one that has Fahrenheit. It was still, like I said, about $16. Otherwise, if you're not really comfortable with soldering, and I'm not, um, you don't have to do too much in this. Practically everything you're doing can be done with just uh, loosening and tightening screws. Um, I would, if I were just gonna do this again, I would get one of the pre-wired controllers. They're a lot they're a lot less expensive than they used to be. I think you can generally get one for what 40 bucks for a pre-wired controller. I, I would just do that next time. This one probably took two days to put together. You know what? If you're good at it, take you 15 minutes. I'm not, took me two days. Uh, so that's my STC 1000. Now that it's plugged in and it's working, it's awesome. Okay? Highly recommended if you know what you're doing. I don't. Next one I get is going to be pre-wired. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next Tuesday on West New York Brews.